Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's good to be here. I'm back today with another reaction to Eminem. Today is gonna be Mockingbird. So without further talking, let's jump into it. Yeah, I know sometimes things may not always make sense to you right now. Something about it is kind of making me emotional. Yeah. Daddy always tell you, straighten up, little soldier. Stiffen up that upper lip. What you crying about? You got me. Haley, I know you miss your mom, and I know you miss your dad when I'm gone, but I'm trying to give you the life that I never had. I can see you sad, even when you smile, even when you laugh, I can see it in your eyes. Deep inside, you want to cry, because you're scared. I ain't there. Daddy's with you in your prayers. So Someone cute. crying, wipe them tears. Daddy's here, no more nightmares. We're going to pull together through it. We're going to do it. Laney uncle's crazy, ain't he? Yeah, but he loves you, girl, and you better know it. World, we got in this world. When it spins, when it swirls, when it whirls, when it twirls. Two little beautiful girls looking puzzled in it. Days. I know it's confusing you, daddy's always on the move, mama's always on the news I try to keep you sheltered from it, but somehow it seems The harder that I try to do that, the more it backfires on me All the things growing up is daddy that he had to see Daddy don't want you to see, but you see just as much as he did We did not plan it to be this way, your mother and me But things have got so bad between us, I don't see us ever being together ever again wow. Like we used to be when we was teenagers, <laughs> but then of course everything always happens for a reason I guess it was never meant to be, but it's just Something we have no control over, and that's what destiny is. But no more worries, rest your head and go to sleep. Maybe one day we'll wake up and this will all just be a dream. Now, hush, little baby, don't you cry. Everything's gonna be alright. Stiffing that up a lip up, little lady. I told ya, daddy's here to hold ya through the night. I know mommy's not here right now, and we don't know why. We feel how we feel inside. It may seem a little crazy, pretty baby, but I promise mama's gonna be alright. Wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> It is something about the lyrics that's so touching. I feel like it's like a real story because seeing him sitting and watching old stereo or old video, remembering everything that happened, I felt like um, someone who is abandoned by a father and mother due to some reasons, or maybe it could be drugs, no jobs or whatever it was. I felt like he was abandoned. I'm so emotional listening to those lyrics and those little children, what they have passed through due to wrong decisions from their parents or whatever was happening in that life. It's just so touching. <laughs> it's really getting to me. We're gonna keep going. But I promise mama's gonna be all right. <laughs> It's funny, I remember back one year when daddy had no money Mommy wrapped the Christmas presents up and stuck them under the tree And said some of them were from me, cause daddy couldn't buy them I'll never Aww. forget that Christmas, I sat up the whole night crying Cause daddy Aww. felt like a bum See daddy had a job, but his job was to keep the food on the table for you and mom And at the time, every house that we lived in either kept getting broken into and robbed Or shot up on the block, and your mom was saving money for you in a jar Trying to start a piggy bank for you so you could go to college Almost had a thousand dollars till someone broke in and stole it and i know it hurt so bad it broke your mama's heart and it seemed like everything was just starting to fall apart mom and dad was arguing a lot so mama moved back on the traumas in a flat one bedroom apartment and dad moved back to the other side of eight mile on novara and that's when daddy went to california with his cd and met dr dre and flew you and mama out to see me but daddy had to work you and mama had to leave me then you started seeing daddy on the tv and mama didn't like it and you and laney were too young to understand it papa was a rolling stone mama developed a habit and it all happened too fast for either one of us to grab it i'm just sorry you were there and had to witness it firsthand because all i ever wanted to do was just make you proud now i'm sitting in this empty house just reminiscing looking at your baby pictures it just trips me out to see how much you both have grown it's almost like your sisters now wow i guess you pretty much are and daddy's still here laney i'm talking to you too Daddy's still here, I like the sound of that chair It's got a ring to it, don't it? Shh, mama's only gone for the moment Now hush, little baby, don't you cry Everything's gonna be alright Stiffing that up a lip up, little lady I told ya, daddy's here to hold ya through the night I know mommy's not here right now And we don't know why We feel how we feel inside It may seem a little crazy, pretty baby But I promise, mama's gonna be alright and if you ask me to, daddy's gonna buy you a mockingbird I'ma give you the world I'ma buy a diamond ring for you I'ma sing for you I'll do anything for you to see you smile 
And if the mockingbird don't sing and that ring don't shine, I'ma break that party's neck. I go back to the jeweler who sold it to ya and make him eat every carrot. Don't fuck with that. <laughs> wow, that was pretty tough. <laughs> Those lyrics were really touching and emotional, like dad pouring out his heart now what i don't know is if the story is like about him or maybe his children or i don't know his childhood growing up and all but i really feel like he was singing the song from his heart like telling a real story about himself about his childhood or his children this was so touching listening to all those lyrics real life what he had to go through or what they had to go through to make ends meet what the mom had to go through having children and have to explain and somehow make them feel okay and all coming on with this song and looking, looking at those old pictures to just remind you of how it was. It's just so touching. I feel like this is how life is generally to some people. People have gone through a lot. Writing it as a song can be so touching. And if it's a real story, I can just imagine whenever he watches this, he would always appreciate where he is today. And the children definitely appreciate the work the dad goes through. I saw what the part where he said he met with the music producer. That part was so cool. So I felt like maybe it was about him when he met, um, is it Dr. Dre, and made it big. I love the part of the mocking beds. It was really cool that he infused that into it. It was such a very emotional song. I love the beat. I love the flow of it, even though the rap was like he was talking. I guess it's like a storytelling as well. Really, really you know, strong and emotional. Listen to those words. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.